Brian Owen here for frontstretch.com. You started the morning with Timmy Hill. You ended it with Leyland Honeyman Jr. What just what transpired after qualifying? Uh, Leyland needs to run this race in order to be approved to run Daytona next year. This was one on Tommy Joe's schedule. And Tommy has helped me a couple of times this year with his partner in it and Sage Karam driving for me at Michigan. And uh, and he came to me and he's just like, look, if, if Leyland don't get to run this race, he may not be approved to run Daytona next year. And so it's just, I don't know if people realize this, but us on the bottom end, we kind of work together and try to help each other, you know. And, uh, but it, Tommy once drove for me and, uh, and so we're still good friends and and it's just to the point that we have our own house sponsors, the, the Coble Enterprises with, with Sherry Coble, uh, James Carter with Crash Claims. They had been on there to help us with Timmy. And uh, so it was a real easy thing because Timmy knew that we really didn't have a lot of sponsorship. So partnered up with Tommy. He sent me some tires over here. So we had tires to race on. Um, Leyland did a good job in the car and uh, Probably would have finished in the teens over there, but when he avoided the wreck over in the corner, knocked the nose in on the left front, made it tight, the arrow tight to it, and we just couldn't get back to the speed we had. How much, you mentioned Tommy Joe buying you guys tires, just how much valuable information do you get running those extra laps with that much fresh set of rubber? How much can you learn? Nothing. <laughs> you just finish better. You know the new tires are gonna be better, so you put them on. <laughs> and, uh, and we finished the race. The, the last stop uh, was actually on some uh, some scuff tires left over from practice. But, um, you know, that got us as far as we could. Any chance we see Leyland running any of your, uh, any more cars for you guys in the near future? Well, that's just between him and Tommy. Okay. You know, he's, he's over there with them. We did him a favor. We got Timmy Hill next week. Um, and I got some other announcements that'll be coming up shortly as soon as we got it. But, uh, Miami's going to be a big announcement for us and uh, just trying to finalize that up and uh, and then we have a, a driver that should be the same driver at the Roval in Texas for us so just the, the biggest thing is we started our year off kind of crappy I had some calibration issues with our pull down rig I had a, some crew chiefs and stuff that we just couldn't afford to pay and things started whittling down I didn't have their, all their book of notes and I just had to go back and do it myself so me and Gary Showalter the shop foreman's have just been studying hard on this thing and getting back to what we need to be what we understand when we leave the, the shop our race car is ready to race and Timmy Hill's pretty much proven that for me that was MBM Motorsports' Carl Long for frontstretch.com Hi, this is Steven Stumpf make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, check out the two videos beside me and for more racing content visit frontstretch.com